Almost 2 million Australians are drowning in credit card debt and there's a good chance they may never pay it back. The corporate cop ASIC has put major banks and credit companies on notice, accusing them of trapping customers with unsuitable cards. The crippling statistic, one in every six people with a credit card is in financial distress, is a wake-up call. Laws will change. Banks will have to undertake a tougher assessment of whether the customer can pay back. From January 1 next year, a bank must be certain a person can repay a credit card debt within three years before issuing any new card. Banks haven't done anything about it because it's highly profitable. They have been sitting back and just milking Australians for all they're worth. Also going unsolicited offers to increase your card limit from, say, $10,000 to $20,000. Those will now be banned going forward. They can often hit people at a weak moment. So here's how the credit card trap works. Say you have $5,000 outstanding on your card. The interest rate is 18%. Now to pay it back in three years, it'll cost $181 a month. But the bank's minimum repayment is just $20 a month. At that rate, you're trapped, paying 18% for the next 33 years. Because it's so expensive, then you just never, you're never able to catch up. And in turn, that causes enormous stress on households. Many people, when they come to our financial counsellors at Wesley Mission, they arrive with a bag of envelopes and they have many, many of these red envelopes that they don't even open. ASIC says if people or their banks actively change to the correct low-rate card, the savings would be $620 million a year. But if you're a bank, Lending money at 18 to 21 per cent a year, why would you change? And that's what ASIC wants fixed. Too many players in this market have not been acting in the interests of their customers. Ross Greenwood, Nine News. Queensland is watching the number one news hour.